Don't mind me, I'm just getting some ice real quick. Hello everybody, Monster Gaming here, and today we are playing Home. Now, this is a 2D game, or a 2-bit game, that I found um, on PlayStation Store, randomly. So I was like, why not? I don't play 2-bit type games, so I might not be as good, or I might not know different things, but just so you know, I'll work for it, you know, from, you know, I'll try my best. But I just wanted to see, you know, just wanted to try something different. So if you guys like it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, an hour and a half and complete home in a single setting. Which your boy has got. But, I don't know, we'll try to, we'll try to go a bit quick in this, but if not, it'll be a two-part video. Um, but yeah, we'll, I don't know. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh. Oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. What the fuck? Is this my eyes? Oh shit. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Ah! Ha! I got a flashlight. What the fuck? Where am I? Somebody fucking... What the... Okay. Sorry, I don't... That house. Where was I? What the fuck? Where am I? What the fuck? What is this? There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Oh, dang. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Fuck off, bitch. Fucking fucking cat. Oh, shit. Going downstairs. I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm downstairs now. What's this? The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. Seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Well, yeah. Probably because it's his house. Hope I read that right. Okay. There's no need for that. <laughs> An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquid bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. Well, well, Jesus. A black and white photo looks like the man upstairs and his wife, I guess. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take... Did I take it? Shh, slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers. Maybe, yeah. We're gonna keep... We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep our things. We're gonna keep our things here. Okay, this is pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, what's up? This is a secondary stairs? God damn, now we're going to the deep depths. I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there were mud cakes all over my shoes. The fuck, bro? Yeah, you got you got kidnapped. You got kidnapped. The bathroom was spotless. Everything has been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning on it, or him. God damn, bro. There's the one sad thing about this. I am gonna really suck it when it comes to fucking... <laughs> there was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out. But they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. Jesus Christ. So it's just like, this is all a bad dream, bro. It's just... The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Okay. Oh, this is like a flashback or some shit? I say what I want, right? No, I say what I want. No, 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 no. What the fuck? Door was taped up, seemed to be stuck by the smell, I guess. It led to the kitchen. Oh, oh, look, I can look up and shit. Oh, that's cool. Damn, door was locked, but it didn't look like there was a keyhole. Maybe I could find another way to open it. That's... What? I gave the door hard shove and to my surprise it cracked open. Wait, what? Oh shit. There were sheets of paper all over the kitchen table. It looked like a series of names were written down, but they were too smudged to read. I can only make out a few of the notes. Huh. Key card. Ocker. Key card. Ocker. Last one, I promise. It didn't make much sense at the time. Well, we're alright. We're going back upstairs then. Hello. 
A thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked fantastic. It looked fantastic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes, you did. You freed it. You freed it in this little hole because you're a little good boy. You would do nothing wrong, wouldn't you? A collection of rusty tools. These look, these look like they would seen a lot of use and were caked and damp smell like dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? I don't fucking know. So I'm just killing people with it. A photo of Slimmer. So the old one I picked up, it's been moved a lot. It seemed to be switched behind it. Did I push the switch? Yes, I did. It depressed... It's a press smoothly into the wall. I heard a fairway click somewhere. Ah, is it that? Is it the door? Is it the door? Is it the door? Not nah, maybe not. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Switch in the wall appeared to have unlocked the door. Yep. That's why I'm pretty sure. The box looked heavy, but their marks on the floor had obviously been moved before. Maybe I'd find a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heard the box for it, and it finally gave. Uh huh. Let's go. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the patch as I climbed down the ladder. Yes, you did. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. Huh. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. Damn. You, you look you look fine. My fucking lips are breaking. This, this sucks. I'm going to be cautionary talking now. This sucks. <laughs> Places all over were marked on the old map of the town, the industrial area, and the other river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. Where the f- I don't know when. Newspaper clipping from the local paper, they were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. A work table covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? Yeah, you did. Tucked the small handgun in my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Yeah, you you need your little you need your little guns, you know. You need guns, bro. Guns are important. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and pu putrid. I couldn't believe what I saw. What was this place? I have no clue. Some kind of homemade rack, slung together with poorly cut wooden rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? What do you fucking think, my guy? What, you think you're just gonna fucking come over? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, that's a nice rack. I'm just gonna make her a nice rack right here next to these obvious hooks. Rusted hooks look like they're fine. A butcher hung from the ceiling. They look like titted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? Yes. Cruelly made shells. They look like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive... The labels were worn and slick, but I still see the warnings. What were the warnings? Okay. Going up and down a shit ton of ladders, bro. Oh, you know. Go back up. It looked like a cage. It was small, but there's something coating the bottom, something wet. Yeah, it looks like blood, my guy. God, the fuck? There wasn't anyone there. I was I hearing things? What? The kind of old box they look like. Wait a minute, this box is old clothes in them. Clothes I remember throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? Oh yeah. I remember that. You're saying there's something you're saying there's someone here? Better fuck come over here and show me, goddammit. Oh okay with Greg look names are scratched out and illegal notes were written beside them in fake Blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. He some something 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 something. None of it made any sense to me. Yeah, it, it still it don't make no fucking sense. We just need to get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> We're scared, bro. We don't want to fucking die. Why did I take the gun? So if there was anything bad. 
that butcher guy came out. You fucking yes. The fuck is that? Oh, jeez, bats. <laughs> it's fucking bats, bruh. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. I don't remember if I jumped down there or found another way. It looked to be a long way. Did I jump down? No. Maybe there was another way to get down without risking any more injury to my leg. Yeah. Ah, I could go past it. There was a, what the fuck was that? There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yeah, maybe the rope would make the broken ladder easier to descend. It would be better than nothing. I had the rope now. There's nothing to use for it. So what the fuck? It looks like a normal world to me. I mean, uh, I mean, there's probably nothing. On the opposite side of this wall, that would be bad. No, 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 no. No, no. I bet, I bet there's diamonds over there. And that one, yes, I did. Hear a faint hum in the smell. Before starting to get worse. What? What is this? A bunch of old newspapers. Wheat pasted together. I mess wait what? A message have been hastily smeared on it. Keep out danger due to cave in. Oh well we don't give a fuck about that. Oh god damn. Hello? I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slipped down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I couldn't that I hadn't jumped the aika in my leg. Oh my gosh, man, my fucking literature. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I hadn't jumped the ache in my leg. was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have ran straight out of their awful tunnels. What? Who would keep such a place? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, it had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. Yeah, gotta make sure we live. What is this, an exposed ventilation shaft? Maybe someone crawled through there. Oh, well, that's not good. It was so high up, that must have been a sore landing. Well, there's probably a nasty dark entity down here. There was dirt on the ground, it looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. Well, that, that ain't good either. None of this is really good. What's in here? I can hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Fucking thing. Oh, the exit in such a kitchen I covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yes, I did. I slipped the knife in my boot. Since I had the gun in my pocket, did I really need all this? Yes, I fucking did. You fucking do. You need everything. You, you Everything is important. Everything is a necessity. What the fuck was that? Okay, hold on. Before I go into your... Door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. Okay, well, I don't want to know what's in there. What the fuck? I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. Well, of course. No, I don't even know what the fuck that is. I wasn't sure about the valves were for. Did I turn it anyway? Fuck it. Uh. Fuck no, you didn't. I left the valve alone for now. We... <laughs> I don't want to pull something I don't know. Okay, so there's two valves, three valves, four valves. Four valves. What do we do with the valves? Exit. Oh, sh the fuck? There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water, which smelled disgusting. I knew that I climbed. I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. Of course, of course. Ten minutes later. Okay. 
Is that literally it? That took longer than it needed to. Yep, that took way longer than it needed to. Fuck! A fucking vent. A fucking door. Safety posters definitely seen better days. How old was this facility? I don't know. But let's go see this vent real quick and see if it opens. Looked like the water drained out of the grate and... Oh, okay. And there was a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool. The rinse of water. Did I take it? Yes, I did. I got a small key, but it was so odd shaped. No idea how it might open. The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. Oh, oh shit. Someone's in there. Hello? Uh, what's in here? Oh, it looks bad. I found another dead body, a sewer worker, by the wounds of, all over his face and body. I figured he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes, I did. I thought about the knife I had found with some disgust as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. Look at that. We got... We, we took the knife. We used the knife. There was a security camera in the room. There must have been a way to see what had happened. Oh shit, okay. Well, let's go figure out that camera shit then. That's good. I can smell a hint of fresh air here. I was anxious to leave, but I couldn't help wonder what that key unlocked. Oh my god, bro. Where the fuck are we going? Where the fuck are we going? The awkward wait. Of the gun and the knife made the climb even more ordis. I'm sorry, I don't even know that. I don't even know what that word is. Would I need that gun I, I, or that knife on my way home, or was I a fool for picking them up? I wondered what was in that locked room I passed. Should I have gone back to check? Oh, you're pissing me off. My perhaps it didn't matter. I was so eager to escape, I almost bruised my hand, forcing the last the top of the ladder open. As I lifted the heavy lid above me, frankly, frantically, sorry, the smell of the sewer gave way to the dank scent of pine trees. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where the fuck? I was relieved to be above ground again. I figured I should keep moving. Well, of course you should fucking keep moving. I didn't know that was a goddamn area you came out of. Okay. We're in a creepy-ass area, though. Ain't gonna lie, I don't wanna get out of here. That is a Minecraft sound. <laughs> That's awesome. What the fuck? There was... What the fuck? It's fucking glowing lights there. Tried the little key I had fished out of the murky puddle in the sewers. It fit, and I had a heavy... <laughs> the wind was picking up a bit, and the night air had become strangely chilly. What the fuck is this? Hold on, I don't want to go in there. Which makes sense. The old train station was quiet as a tomb. The only sound was that of the increasing wind buffet of the dissipate. Oh my god! Decrepit structure. I cannot stop. Ah. The ancient ticket booth was falling apart and covered in dust and grime. Stacks of paper lined the counter. Faded remains of old schedules and reports. Amongst the papers were newer looking sheets covered in scribbles and illegible notes. Come to think of it, the man in that house had kept similar scribbles hidden on his bookshelf and he had notes on the water tower outside too. I guess he could have been coming here. But why? What was he using his old station for? Uh, I, I, you know, it beats me, my man. Hello? An old map. Encased in glass hung on the wall, it was the train route's connection to the old station. As I looked at it, it seemed familiar. Of course, the map I f found in those tunnels had similar locations marked. Oh, yeah. And the notes I found on the other man's bookshelf. His notes mentioned the water tower and even his train yard. Even this train yard. What was he doing coming back here? All these unanswered questions. All these insanely unanswered questions. What is this? The old train station. The old train 
was ripped open and hang, hanging from a shred of metal as well of the broken fence was a dark stained patch of cloth. What? It looks synthetic like some kind of out, outerwear. Inside the train shell, I could see a few faint impacts like wounds. Could they have been bullet marks was somebody shot there the grounds was well worn through I couldn't really make an anything out I realized I was touching the gun and I had found as I thought go back out in the oh what Jesus Christ bro those fucking what what is this this must have been the entrance of the forest that was mentioned on the map I had seen. Whoever was poking around in those tunnels underneath that man's house was, was scribbled notes on this place, but I couldn't make them out. Here the sign pointed out various campsites and walking paths within the woods. It mentioned a river and maybe a washroom, but the rest was too faded to see clearly. By the way guys, I am sorry if I yawn a lot in my videos. I literally cannot help that shit. It happens every time I play video games. Not even when I do YouTube videos. When I just play video games in general, I yawn like a bitch. What the fuck? What the fuck? Through the fence, I could see a dilapidated outbuilding. I wonder if I could find my way around. Of course we can. The creamy sink had a small patch in it that looked almost clean. I'm like, it must be wooden plank propped up in the stall door. It didn't really seem useful. Did I bother to take it? I wasn't sure why, but I took the plank. You know what? Everything is fucking important, bro. Every is anything you put in your fucking pockets. Way in the clean water there. You see, you should understand, bro. You should understand what you, why you you be holding everything. Oh, well, the sign is saying the first one I had seen must have been the exit of the other side of the woods. And the exit, once I left, I knew never wanted to return there. Ah. Uh, I stumbled through the dense forest with little grace and no sense of direction whatsoever. At least now I thought the air seemed to thin out a bit and it was lighter on the path ahead. It was lighter on the path ahead. All right, well, I'm sorry. I'm, like, butchering everything. I could almost see a way out. So I must have been closer to town. Still, that forest had felt awful and ominous. And though it looked like I was finally out of its worst parts, I could sense its gaze still upon me. Perhaps the woods didn't want me seeing what, I, what it held. But what I wondered could that be? I have no idea, bro. Like I said, main, main objective, get the fuck out. That's... That looks like... I could be like the Statue of Liberty for a sec. A a any any scary thing comes at me, I just go. Pss oh. <clears throat> as I stepped through the gate, I suddenly recognized the auto parts factory where I had worked as a mechanic of for all these years. <laughs> the plant had closed almost three years ago now. Times were better then. I thought I could hear a faint rustling behind me. Maybe it was just the wind. Yeah, 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 it was just the wind. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Nope. Oh, not another victim. I took it from the uniform. Security guard there just doing his job. His head was being severely beaten. And his face was covered with blood. That's sad. Poor guy. Dug into the ground was a cracked old watch. It was mine. I bought it on a trip in the West Rachel. I, West Rachel with Rachel. I barely went a day without wearing it. It didn't look like it worked anymore, and it was heavy. Did I take back my watch? No. Just looking at the watch turned my stomach. I decided to leave it buried. Keep it, keep it buried, keep it buried, keep it buried. We don't need that. Jeez. No. Stupid. Alright, let's go in the scary factory area. Let's go upstairs. Every part of this plant smelled old and rotten. I noticed the old bullets and board on the wall. Oh, wow, do you? Hey, I do too. The board contained yellow clippings of the newspaper 
cartoons and notices. There were not a, there were notes to and from the guys that worked here. One of them was to Norman, who was one of the older guys on the line. Okay. God damn. Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Fuck yeah, I did. The open locker was stuffed with dirty clothes. With dirty work clothes and old boots. There was a photo of a woman taped on the inside, but it was scratched out and the face was unrecognizable. Jesus Christ, man, where are you at? Hmm, a power panel. Looked like it was shut off. Did I push the switch? Fuck yeah, I did. It was shut tight. There was a rusty looking card slot on the side. Maybe I can find a card? Question mark. Still wasn't working. Did I try it again? Yes, I did. Because I'm smart as hell. I already see it. I already see what's happening. I already see what's happening, bro. You can't even. Door had been hastily boarded up. Door had been hastily boarded up. I didn't know if I could double click it, hit it. Hello? So that was Norman's locker. The door was dented like someone had punched it. I don't remember him doing that when he worked here. Well, I don't think it's him. Yeah. There we go. Got that bitch working. Utility shelf crammed with mismatched tools and items. There was a claw hammer on the shelf. Did I take the hammer? Yes, I did. As I took the hammer, I noticed it wasn't as dusty as the rest of the tools on the shelf. Oh, that's scary. It's been used. Another panel that I hoped could get help with power back on. Did I push the switch? Come on, baby. Hold on. There we go. We got that bitch out. Come on. Come on now. Come on now, baby. Come on, Betsy. I think I got it on. I think I got it on. Damn, the audio is really good in this game. I'll tell you what, the audio is fucking awesome in this game. It does give a really good sense of eeriness. <laughs> like, I'm fucking nervous as shit. Walking down these stairs. I know it's just the generator. Uh, don't worry about me. Door open now, the power was back on. Hell yeah. Hello? Another smudge of dirt, similar to the one I found those sewers was on the floor, yeah. The fuck? A large pile of building materials and debris blocked the way. Alright, well, that ain't good. A rusted old regular, some kind of sat dusty and unused against the wall. Planks, tools, and broken up parts blocked any further passage. Oh my god, I'm fucking, we're gonna be stuck in here. We're gonna be stuck in here, man. It's been, it's been 43, I've been recording right now. It's been 43 minutes and 24 seconds, and I haven't seen shit. <laughs> Where the fuck is it, man? It's so, it's fucking eeriness. Like, I don't know what to expect, man. I don't know what to expect. I'm, like, nervous. Yeah, no, the door was open. Oh, I gotta like push, I gotta like shoot, shoot the, shoot the debris shit. Power looked like it was running again, yeah. I could tell that too. The power box working, yeah, the door is unlocked. Do I go through? Yeah, I pushed the handle, stepped through the door. Better not be anything bad. Right, a flashlight hung on the wall. One of them was missing. Sh Wait a minute. They were exactly the same on the flashlight I was carrying. I turned my own over and looked at the bottom. Judging by the label, it definitely could have come from that rack. Oh, shit. Yeah, I see now. I stopped noticing the dull ache in my leg when I was terrible sensation and worn its way down my spine, even in my cool night air. So I never felt alone and unmolested. What? 
I tried to tell myself it was just the sight of that dead guard that was throwing me off. The poor bastard looked like he had been done in while on patrol. Was a flashlight I carried this? How did I come to possess it then? As I looked around the wet yard, the light seemed less a blessing and more a mysteri mysterious omen. I think you, I think I fucking did it. I had to keep moving though. I had to find Rachel. I, don't, I think I killed Rachel. I don't know. Seems like I'm fucking killed Rachel or some shit. Hello? A rusty old truck had careened off the road and into the guardrail. Its front was crushed and its windows had all smashed. Judging by the rust, it had been there a while. Oh, damn. Damn. All right, guys. I'm actually going to leave this here. I've been doing it for about 45 minutes, so it's going to be, hopefully, this is like a long, crazy video, so I'm I'm hoping that's going to be around a 30-minute video, even longer, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely do another part to this, um, hopefully finishing it off, but yeah, this is a really interesting game, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I killed him, though. That's my personal opinion, but yeah, let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.